good to go. And then now what, since we have that connector, we just got to enable it. So we'll go enable connectors, and 99% of the time, this is all going to be already set up already. We just want to do this to, to, for a, a verification check. So go back to act on integrator. See all of your different entities and modules on the left-hand side. We want to make sure leads, contacts, as well as targets are in here, which they are. But we want to make sure this box up here is checked to enable um, external users to create external account records. We can create new records inside these objects. Let's save. And we're good to go. So now we'll go to leads, and we're going to lay out the dashboard for you. So we're going to go into just a random record, no matter which one it is. Now, the upper right-hand corner, I have this built out already, but we'll hit Create, and we'll create a new dashboard. So, again, I won't save this because I already have this ready, but we'll just go Act On, Test. We'll add a row, and then we're going to add a dashlet. So we have two dashlets that we have here in Act On. We have our Act On Activity History, which, show you, which shows you all the different interactions that your, the customer has had with all the different Act On marketing um, assets, so emails, landing pages, all that good stuff. And then we have the timeline so a chronological account of when they interacted with those different items. We'll add those here. So first thing is the activity history. It's going to ask you which ones. So if you don't use webinars or you don't want to take a tab, you can remove that. If you don't use forms or what, so on and so forth, you can pick and choose which ones you want to report. So we'll just, for the sake of argument, we'll save them all. You'll see that there's a tab here, right, for the overall summary. We can break it down by email. Again, this is my test account, so we don't do we don't do any kind of emails, uh, any any kind of outbounding marketing. So you're not going to see anything, any data here. But all your data will will show up here. We'll add a, we'll add a second row, and then we're going to go ahead and add the act on marketing timeline. Same thing, you can choose what you want to see, what you don't want to see. We'll save it, and it'll be here. Now you can choose to save this particular dashboard, which I'll go ahead and do. Now here you have your standard, you'll have your standard ones, your like your lead record dashboard, and then you'll have your all your other act on ones. Now and then I'm gonna to jump go in with a just a quick comment there. Oh. Um just an FYI for everyone. Uh first of all, when you set up a new dashboard, you can share that with your users so they don't have to set it up themselves individually. Uh or alternatively, if you want to just modify that default dashboard, you could modify the default dashboard and um put it on the default dashboard, and that would automatically go out to all your users that way as well. Perfect. We'll do the same exact thing for contacts. So it's literally the same exact process. You're going to hop into one of your random random contacts, and then you hit the Create button or edit an existing, um, an existing dashboard that you have and add the two same exact um, dashlets. Your, your sales team can, and your users can see the activity history and the timeline. So as far as a setup from the setup portion of Sugar, you're done. Uh, so everything else is going to be completed uh, as far in, in the back end Acton. Um, so we'll go back to Acton.